On Thursday, which is today here in South Korea, revisions to the local government law took effect for the first time in 32 years. The changes mean municipalities will have greater autonomy in policy making and residents' direct participation will be expanded. Four cities will also enjoy higher status than before. Lee kyung reports. Suwon is the largest city in South Korea's most populous province, Gyeonggi-do, which surrounds the capital Seoul. With some 1.2 million residents, it's a similar size as some of the cities that are designated as metropolitan cities. But there has been so little that the city could do on its own. It couldn't even add extra speed cameras or crosswalks due to its status as a small, mid-sized city. Suwon had long called for autonomy and decentralization of power. And those calls have finally been answered. On January 13, the city was reborn as a so-called special metropolitan city as the revised Local Government Act comes into effect one year after being passed. The law grants the same status to three other cities that have a population of more than one million people. Those are Goyang, Gyeongin in Gyeonggi-do province, and Changwon, the only such city outside Greater Seoul area. And they will now enjoy the same level of autonomy as metropolitan cities like Busan, Gwangju, and Daegu, like issuing local bonds, granting permission for buildings not more than 51 floors tall, and designating housing or urban development sites. The law will also give residents more welfare benefits. As they are now classed as residents of large cities, they will get more income deductions for living expenses, meaning more people are eligible for the basic national pension or other welfare assistance. Meanwhile, to boost local autonomy across the whole country, the law stipulates expanding residents' direct participation in decision-making. Local councils will also have greater authority in making policies and independence in appointing members. They will also improve the expertise of members. Although the immediate impact might be limited, the Local Government Act, which has been amended for the first time in 32 years, is largely expected to enhance people's livelihoods and regional competitiveness in the long term. Young Arirang News.